Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Jadonia. Thank you so much for continuing to support the series. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Let me know you guys are having fun with me here. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to go check out in game. Because again, I I haven't played this in a year, so it's kind of a a crapshoot. Here's our map. Which is something we wanted to talk about because you see this, we got a giant wasp, forest guardian. Uh, more quests available all over the place. Is that us? Can I move the map? Quests. Okay. I can't move the map at all? No, but I can put a mark there if I want. Woo! Okay. Unsolved mysteries. But, so, let's see. This is where we are now. This is where he's filled up. And then, uh, that was the city we saw the edge of. We got the Golden Forest. Desert. That swamp right there is new. Valar Fields. The 1 to 10. 7 to 15. 14. Okay. Well. Oh, sorry, lady. Let's start the mission. Ernest told me you're his assistant? Something like that. He knows me since I was little. He was a good friend of my father. So what are you assisting him with? I'm mostly just taking care of him. He doesn't really do any research anymore. Got it. So you don't believe my story? I don't know or give a damn. Why do you even care about these visions so much? Well, I never knew my parents, or where I really came from. I'm sorry, what? Did you just show up on some random villager's doorstep one dark and stormy night? Um, actually, yes. More or less. Cods. Seriously? Fine, continue. I just feel that these visions and runes and everything are connected to the truth of my parents. Is that so hard to believe? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You never left your village before? No, only went to Steepport a couple of times. Wow, glad I get to babysit you, in addition to all my other responsibilities. Hey, I learned fast. You'll be impressed, I promise. <laughs> we'll see. So, you were always this gloomy, or what? Hey, don't talk to me like I'm some spiteful hag. No, no, I'm not saying anything. Just looking at you with reverence and a little bit of terror. <laughs> you better, and not a little bit, too. You know, when I was a kid, I got really scared by a squirrel in the uh. woods. I ran screaming all the way to the village. I told my uncle that I met a monster. He was laughing so hard, his stomach hurt. <laughs> That's when I promised myself that I would never be scared of anything. Look at you, Captain Hothead, taking all the risk. Just saying. Just saying, yeah. Nothing wrong with being scared from time to time. Now, let's get to sleep. Let's leave all the swashbuckling for tomorrow, shall we? Good night. I heard something. Someone's coming. You better Bandit. put down this bow, pretty girl. And I promise we won't hurt you too much. Not before I put an arrow between your eyes, scum. You'll regret those words after we're through with you. You won't touch her. Get out of here while you still can. Look who's got a voice. You're a tough one, aren't you? I might just piss myself. <laughs> um... Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Alright, give everything a second to load up. And... Big swing! Oh. Uh. 
That's not what happened. I don't have that. That oh, well. bastard sneaked up on me. I'm pretty sure you had this. Obviously. Let's get out of here. Where'd she go? Okay. I guess we'll meet her at the next spot. Oh, there's a town right there. Oh, back to Stafford. Oh, weren't we supposed to do something? Yeah. Got loot. Ooh. What is that thing? We fight it? Hey. You hurt my puppy. Saw that coming. I am glad he put these harder things in here. I have no idea what this thing is. Oh, come on. Ranger's lucky trinket. After shooting an arrow, has 25% chance to increase your accuracy for four seconds. Wolf's head. Helmet. Leather. 20 melee damage. Oh, nice. Well. Oh, we can wear two amulets. Cool. So we use one, a uh, little bit of health and armor, but we get uh, movement uh, stuff added to our movement speed. All right. Level 10, huh? Let's see. 
No, we'll just throw it there. All right, let's go. We ran through here. Maybe we should do this. Yeah. You see what's up over here? Hello. Young mage has taken an honorable undertaking upon himself. He wants to protect Stuffer from orc attacks. However, he plans to use some sort of weird, weird magical crystals for this. He plans to put it right here in the center of the village. Don't approve? No. Many of the good people of this town are also troubled by this thing. We don't want magical experimentation in our quiet town. We can protect ourselves. Okay. Ah, oh, you smell awful. Jalen, I'm a grateful with Mage Academy. Top my class, by the way. What are you trying to do? Needs protection from orcs. And in my research, I managed to invent an arcane crystal that will scare away orcs in a couple of mile radius. Look, I've tried to reason with him, but he is still a narrow-minded old man who is afraid of magic. He doesn't understand the, time, the benefits that it will bring to his town. Yeah, did the academies do this? Well, no, but I checked this build numerous times, and it should be correct and safe. Yeah. Nope, you don't get to do that. Okay. All right. Hello. Couldn't change his mind. Yep. All right now, stop your Lee fools! You're trying to. I'm trying to help you here. Or we'll move you by force. Ah, let's go on the guard side. There, there's level ten. Oh, I killed the village elder. Sorry, dude. Ooh. All right. Well, you know, we should probably do a little looting while I'm here. Oh no! What are you gonna say? Oh, here we go. Let's clean up our inventory. You won't be disappointed. Interesting. Short bronze sword. 17 damage. Wow, that's like as good as the sword I'm wielding, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that shield. I'll keep those weapons. Get rid of that before I do something stupid with it. So there's a family, there's a town. Oh, wow. Well. Whoa. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. for tailoring. Ah, screw it. I'm interested to see whether she takes us next. 
So, let's go a chat. Oh, wait a minute. That is a teleportation thing. Hold on a second here. Ooh, it gives a whole level for that. All right. Range, spare. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, I already have the rage one. Okay. Right, and then we only got one left, so let's see. Wonder how you do the hardening. Red knot armor. Sweet. Well, we'll figure it out soon enough, won't we? All right. This should be an interesting section to walk into. Go. Oh. This is it? It looks a bit like, well, it looks a mess. Yes, an organized mess, one could argue. What do you expect when you shove a bunch of scientists, mages, and archaeologist types into one camp. They all despise each other, jockeying to be the one responsible for the next big discovery. Yet they all need each other. I've got some quick personal business to attend to, but there's nothing to be afraid of. I'll... Hey, where are you going? Okay, let's explore the camp. Excuse me for a moment. You're not excused. Can't you see that we're having an important debate? It sounds more like a squabble to me. Let us not play semantics, boy. What do you want? Make it quick. I was just about to win this debate. I'm trying to find someone who can translate these runes. <sighs> I can translate any rune for you. Well, almost any room. Uh. Hmm? Anything. Obviously, Volflar. Pretty fascinating, but those runes are beyond my lexicon. Is there a Volflar expert? Someone who could help? There might be one person who is, uh, better than me. Who is he? What's his name? I'm sorry, name? I make it a habit of not learning the name of anyone beneath or above me. The former puts inferior folks in check. The latter humbles. So, that leaves only your equals' names. What's my name? Margaret? Or was it... It's fine. I know I'm your superior. Thank you for humbling me. Uh, so you can at least describe this man? Handsome. Okay, can you be more specific? How many handsome men do you see around here? Besides me, of course. Ah. Uh. Fine. He's of average height and build. Kind of a brownish, blackish, blondish hair. Oh, bearded. He's got a well-trimmed beard. Although, he does enjoy the freshly shaven look on occasion. Medium complexion. Is any of this helping? Oh, do you mean Dracus? Doesn't ring a bell. The flirtatious one. Well, he's never flirted with me. I don't think he's your type. He prefers young, attractive scientific women. He's always chatting them up around camp. I wouldn't know anything about that. I... Uh, you don't want to get involved sometimes. Okay. Obviously, that's the next one right there. Whee! Huh. 
Hello, Wyanna. And you must be... Wyanna. You know this kid? Hey, sorry for ditching you, but it seems like you had it covered. Well, I didn't. I've been looking for some idiot named Dracus to help me translate these ruins. Um, ouch? I might look strong, but my heart is tender. Ugh. You were looking for Dracus? Why? He can't help you translate. Whoa, I can too. I've learned a Whoa. lot since you and I... Well, Indy Joe said I had a real promise. I really look up to that guy, even though he can never get my name right. Give me a minute with Wyanna, and I'll help you out. Wyanna, what did you want to talk about? Ugh. Not a bad one, right? Um, this is urgent. Never change, Dracus. Come on, just trying to have a little laugh. Bye. Come talk to me when you're done, and we'll head back to Ernest's. What was that about? Me and that guy were... Look, it's none of your business anyway. All right, so we got to be level 12 here. That means we got to go find find some peoples to fight. Hey, dude. <laughs> no, you guys didn't have anything? Hey, can we cook any meat? Do we have meat? Oh. Okay. Good thing about riding over here, though, is we might come across a couple of different things. We come across um, more bandits. Is that a castle over there? Oh, no, it's not. What is this? Okay, so that that's gonna be something special. Oh, and it's with a treasure chest. Let's put this right there. Bow, 55 damage. Where's our current bow? Our current bow is better. That worked pretty well. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Sorry.
You shot my dog. Oh no, I'm out of arrows. I'll have to make some more here. Ooh, I see a cave. And there we go. In this cave. One sec, folks. Gotta check it out. This is the, uh... Kind of good stuff in here. Oh, where'd the other guy go? Okay, so we'll just have to keep working our way through everybody till we get uh, our key. We could sleep there if we wanted. Oh, missed somebody. Ah, we didn't get them all. Ooh, crew great sword all. Oh. oh man. Okay. Oh look, there's a couple guys over here still. Oh good, I need the arrows. Okay. I have anything to make food wise? I don't think so. Dude, do you definitely want to come here and fight this as soon as you can? Okay, so currently we got a 17 on a broadsword, but I just got a short bronze sword. Ooh, look at that now. All right, so DPS, right? It's the same as it was, I think. Mace is not too bad either. Two-hander. 
spears. Oh. Okay, it won't work with that. But, ooh, look at that. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think we killed them all. Okay, man, we're doing pretty good. Ooh, look. This is why I wanted to come over here. Train. What is this? Well, I'm not going to take poor bird's eggs. But I do want to kill these guys real quick. Hello, boys. So what does that roll? One-handed, 11 damage. Not a fan. Not a fan. Now what happens if we go up here? If we can go up here. Nothing. Oh, I'm sure there's bandits and stuff we can fight in this area. We'll just finish up by rolling on over here to, uh... Back to our quest hub. Alrighty, folks. So, we'll stop right here. Continue on with the story in the next episode. As always, I'm the Rev. Thanks so much for joining me. Keep in mind, game's nice and cheap. Oh, we need to throw something into our the two skill points, huh? Magic we can still mess with. So we can throw down a war scream, which increases and knocks back all enemies around the player. Ooh, we want to get that level two power strike. Like this, though, just because of crowd control. All right, folks. So when we come back next time, we'll jump into the story and see what happens. As always, I'm the Rev. Keep your heads down. Your swords of doom up and I'll see you again. Real damn soon.